previously on a cash challenge. All in. She just said all in, sir. I'll pay to see it. <gasps> Kevin, you're so stupid. What happened now? King High. He has King High. I honestly misread my hand, thought I had King J. Yeah, you win. I would like to bluff you, but it didn't, didn't work. King High wins? Yeah. I don't feel comfortable with that. I feel very bad, and I don't want you to leave. So, here, let's give you 15K. Give it back to you so I can take it one more time. <laughs> the gesture he made was, you know, an amazing moment for her. It was really generous, so, you know, good on Kevin for keeping her in the game. But uh, this isn't just some celebrity who's coming in and going, what are the rules? Like, he's got game, he's got all kinds of moves. He's coming to win. He's a very competitive guy. Anybody else getting hand cramps from counting chips? <laughs> <laughs> Surprising everyone at the table wants to have a thing with so okay for it. Uh, listen. I'm, I'm not against it. As long as the money keeps shifting this way, <laughs> I'm okay with it. It's another pot that I'm stacking up in my stack. <laughs> it's another pot that I'm stacking up onto my stack. As we rejoin the action, Kevin is the big winner, up over 20 grand, while Charlie is down roughly the same amount. Mila lost the money she was staked, but is now playing on Kevin's dime, and she'll pocket anything left at the end of the session. Talking of which, time is ticking. 91 hands have been completed of the scheduled 150. The action is pot limit pre-flop, no limit post-flop, blinds 25 and 50 euros with a 10 euro ante. Of course, being a cash game, players can reload at any point up to a maximum of 25,000 euros. Do you think it would be okay if I went down there and gave Kevin a big hug for being such a good guy and got him to look at my reel real quick, but then also said, hey, thanks for being such a good guy? No, I need you here. Let's get Maria to do it. The hug part, not the real. <sighs> do you have to stay down there? You can't come up here? Come up, Maria. Maybe someone can come join me down here. Huh? Come up when you're here not in a hand. Come up here so we can talk to you about the fact that Charlie stopped playing. Uh, <laughs> Char Charlie's running out of money. Yeah, yeah. Charlie. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta tie him up. When you get to the bottom of the bag, yeah, Charlie's on his Maria, last bullet. End time. <laughs> Charlie's 100% on his last bullet. I just don't like you standing out there by yourself. Oh, here we go. After Liv straddled, Kevin called, and Charlie has now raised with King Jack suited. Ace four of spades for Daniel. He's in. This is Liv. Okay, you're here. Watch what happens. I don't want to call. I'm, not, I'm, <laughs> going, I'm going to because they're, just, they're such nice people. And then you're going to unintentionally win a big pot now too. I mean, hypothetically you didn't want speaking. To call. Hypothetically speaking. I'm sorry. I'm that's just what's happening, Liv. Is it possible? I'm not not rooting for you to win. I'm just saying. I'm just observing. It sounds like she's rooting for you. Not, 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 not. I'm not, not. Use it with the triple negative and see what's going on. Almost a family pot. This really could go anybody's way. Four players. Four of the best. And three of them have decent hands. Kevin. Scratch that. He's just flopped top pair. He continues running like the closing credits to the Benny Hill show. The action's been checked to Kevin. I check. Check. Charlie was going to do something crazy. The turn card is a seven. Kevin now has a straight. What? Oh, well, that looks like check for me. Check. 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 Still no betting. There it is. Check. Don't do it, Liv. She's doing it. What are you doing? For no reason at all. Bully. I'm on the bottom side of it. I have King High. Yeah, that probably won't win. Unless it's against Mila, Burn. You're the player. Oh, you need a dog I said I'm on He the had it already, didn't he? Yeah, he had, had it on the, the turn. turn. I know I, oh, you're I waiting for your buddy, that. Charlie. I was <laughs> waiting, waiting for, Charlie. for your buddy, Charlie. You go ahead, Charlie. See what I'm saying? You want me to come down here and talk to you? I would have missed out on $2,000. So this time you had the straight, though. It's good. Well, this time I saw my cards correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since that moment, I've actually double-checked my hand probably every time. You might do that for a while. Yeah, <laughs> after that. So that's good. So I maybe make you to a better poker player. Yes, yes. You, you are helping yes. me out. Don't worry, Maria. I'm sure someone will come and talk to you soon. Be careful, shoes. Oh, Jesus. Charlie's about to put on. <laughs> Charlie, what are you doing? Charlie just tried to drug me. Did anybody just see that? Did anybody just see that? Charlie just tried to put something in my drink. Did the cameras catch that? 
He just, he literally opened up a jar and I turned around right in time. <laughs> <laughs> he just tried to put something to Charlie. Usually if it's, it's gonna be something good. Flaxseed, manuka, honey. So Faraz has straddled here. It's a blind bet, which is double the size of the big blind. And Faraz now gets to act last pre-flop. Mila folds. Ace deuce for Daniel. Deux. 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 So wait, 100, 200? 300, 400, 500. See how many raises you can get in. Right. Live with Ace Jack. Get him, Liv. 400. Yeah. You made it four? Mm -hmm. One, this is two, a sign. four, you make it eight. This is a sign. I've had this hand so many times tonight. This is a, it's a sign. I get it. You have to make it 800. I get it. No, no, no. I'm just going to call. No, don't I get ruin it. the game. <laughs> we had a uh, thing going. No, because everybody's going to call. He's probably right. See? Told you. That's I'm why I just I'm called. I'm so glad you didn't. You didn't do Dude, did 600. I almost made it 600. <laughs> <laughs> just to be that guy. Yeah. If he would have did that, then I would have raised it. Down here with by far the least equity. Five players in this pot. And an action flop. For the first time, I finally hit it. It's the first time I've actually had the hand and hit it. Thank you. I'm so lucky. Sure. Cool. Charlie has two pair. Faraz has a pair, plus diamond and straight draws. Chick. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid because I'm going to call. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cold. I'm getting sick. <laughs> Liv has top pair, top kicker, but only 7% equity. I fold. Liar! Mm. I didn't say anything until <laughs> I was speaking hypothetically. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Floor. I don't know what's going on with my legs, but ever since Charlie put that stuff in my drink, I don't feel good. You getting a little wobbly? Yes, yeah, a little wobbly. Charlie raises to 4,000 euros. And with Faraz's pair and flush and straight draws, he cannot fold. He could very well put in another raise. Walking right by the cameras. <laughs> Right by the cameras. Right by. Right by Maria. Hey. Come Man on, of hot word. mama. Hmm? Man of your word. Yes, I'm Came down to hang here. out with me. I'm coming to hang out with you because nobody's been talking because they're all <laughs> off right now, which is understandable. I mean, they've resorted to spiking your drink because they don't know how else to combat the fact that you're winning pot this after is, pot. It's tough, you know, and uh, here's the thing. I'm just playing the game, okay? I'm not sitting here and getting great cards. I'm just right. playing a game of poker. I'm personality my way to another victory. Even when he's not in the hand, it's all about Kevin, but Faraz has got a decision. He decides to shove. Easy fold for Daniel. What about Liv? Annoying <laughs> fold for her. How much? Crowd right up thoughts. 21 ish. Too many draws out there for Charlie to fold. <sighs> it's nearly 18,000 euros for him to call. Have a good hand. All the draws make it more likely Faraz has got the kind of hand he's got. Not much for now. Super hard to fold. We have an all in. News a lot, Kevin. It looks like there's an all in right now. Is it what? God, you made me miss money. <laughs> oh my God. Tell me what, let me know what's going on though. Hurry up, because I want to see this too. Uh oh. Did I get here before Charlie started to do his thing? Can you tell me if he is? I, I, I just going have on. a super good hand. I need to do some maths. Maths? Do I calculate it? Yeah, I could use your brain if that's okay. Anyone, anyone sober? 42.5. Anyone sober? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's actually pretty close mathematically. Run it twice. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> bluff, bluff. Well, you, well, you. I mean. I would Charlie calls. Oh. Oh. Sign him up. He's got the what? The nuts with the, oh no. <laughs> Fair against the everything else? I don't like the nuts. Mm -hmm. Twice. Twice? Yeah. Mm. Ace Jack with the Ace of Diamonds. So. Ooh, that, uh, that's, that's uh, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I guess, I guess I, I'll take I'm it. Get, I'm betting on a split. Well, this is the biggest <laughs> pot so far, and they've elected to run it twice. <laughs> 
The pot will be split 50-50, and we will see two separate runouts. Run one of two. Ace on the turn. Ah. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, Liv. Faraz looking for a ten or a diamond on the river. Wait for this. Hold. <laughs> ten cards Faraz can hit. That's not one of them. Nice. One safe. It's always good to win the first one. Should have just I told you I should have checked. Are that you allowed slot. to run the second war twice? To. I will not allow it. I don't know. What do you think? Charlie's locked up half the pot. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, whatever. Statistically, Faraj yeah, should take the next one. Run two of two. Nine on the turn. Ooh, now he could use a nine. Hey, what's what's not going a on? What's ten. going on? Wait, let's slow that, down. That's a good card for you, I think. That's a great card for me. Took away a ten, but gave him a nine. It feels like the nice one out. I'm just gonna How imagine. How did you a card. win both of these? Three of That's pretty lucky. Daniel calling it. Faraz looking for a diamond or a nine. Six of clubs. Charlie scoops. Wow. Sigh. <laughs> yes. Wow. Charlie got even. <laughs> Fine, Charlie could have his money back. Charlie is back. <laughs> yeah, okay, I cover, I cover. And Faraz now has to decide whether to quit the game or reload. I was pretty happy with that. Have a good hand. I definitely wanted to stay in the game and I only had like 25k left or something. So I, I, I kind of, I wanted to run it twice and at least like chop or something. Run it twice? Yeah, it's, it's definitely super frustrating when you're playing well, you're winning pots, people are paying you off, your bluffs are working, then all of a sudden you just have to flip a giant coin for 45k. Yes. Wow. Charlie got even. <laughs> but that's poker, that's why this game is tough, that's why it's not easy. Here on the PokerStars Championship Cash Challenge, we just saw Faraz get felted. He moved all in against Charlie, they agreed to run it twice, and Faraz lost both flips. It's been a little bit of a roller coaster. You started out really well, and then just right now, you got involved in a 45K pot where you guys ran it twice. Just can't get rid of Charlie. <laughs> we beat him out of a big pot, he keeps reloading. I can't get rid of him, and now he's got all my chips. You'd think I'd at least get one of them, at but nope, least. did not go my way. Charlie, was it maybe your master plan to lose a lot of pots and then win a huge one? Yeah, yeah well, I mean, you, you got to trap him right for this. Hold. Do you feel like now you can maybe, you know, just relax and settle back in? Nice. I came here to have fun, really. This game's just a way for me to let loose and have a lot of fun, so I'm probably not going to slow down at all. We think we're in the black now? I got it. <laughs> Good question. I have no idea. <laughs> All right, well, maybe you should check when you get back. Maybe it doesn't matter. Good news, Charlie. You are now in profit to the tune of 800 euros. That's enough money for Charlie to buy 800 more hoodies. Meanwhile, Faraz has bought back in for 19K, meaning he's in for a total of 34 grand. Youch. Uh, seeing everybody's okay and having a good time. Uh, I am. Who isn't? This is hand 97 of the cash challenge. Daniel has straddled. Liv folds. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh? <laughs> Just a oh. Not like a big oh. You straddle there? Yes, sir. I am gonna cut both. Charlie raises with 10 6. Oh, Charlie. Yeah. Mila's been playing kind of tight, but this hand is caca anyway. Yeah, the hang of it. Get in here, camp dog. Anyone call you that? K Dizzle. I mean, you saw me call. Yeah. So the chances of me Folding. are very small. slim. <laughs> I, don't know. I like that we're at the stage where we can finish each other. Yes, that's a, that's a good. We're at a good point of friendship right now. Yeah. Jealous. See you at the river, buddy. <laughs> hey, Charlie, see you at the river. 
You got on your, Charlie, you got on your trunks? Cause I plan on going to the river. <laughs> <laughs> A flop. Ace, Jack, eight. Jack. Um, nice. Yeah. Kevin doesn't have anything. Charlie doesn't have anything. But a bet should win it. Uh, 600. I'm gonna waste time. Nice. I'm not gonna waste time. Charlie's on a heater. He's played a lot of hands today. But not the most. Let's check out how often these players have been entering pots, otherwise known as VPIP. Well, Kevin is the most active player at the table, closely followed by Charlie. Daniel also plays a lot of hands, while Mila has entered the fewest pots. Kevin is still the biggest winner at the table, while Mila and Faraz are the biggest losers. Now, it might look like playing more hands equates to more profit, but I can assure you that is not always the case. Yeah, we are looking at a relatively small sample size. So Kevin has straddled here. Action on Charlie. Eight, five suited. Charlie Carroll, can't stop, won't stop. Raises to 350 euros. Faraz is in. Mila's out. Round to Kevin. Uh oh. Uh oh. Try to raise again. All right. All right. Okay. Let's see what happens. Kevin calls with Queen Jack. Three way to the flop. Somehow Charlie's got 30% with those rags. His cards are bad too. Kevin with the most equity. Faraz with the best hand for now. The flop is Jack 8 7. Top pair for Kevin, second pair for Charlie. Check to Faraz. I expect a check. Yep. Turn card. Seven of diamonds. Faraz picks up a flush draw. Kevin now a two to one favorite. He bets 600. Charlie calls. Faraz faults. Heads up to the river. Three of clubs changes nothing. Kevin bets a thousand. Somehow eight five isn't the winner, huh? Green Jack. Doesn't seem bluffy. Nice reads. Now listen to yourself. Here, flip me. I'm done. <laughs> Charlie folds. Nice. Kevin's got another pop. Yeah, but more importantly, Charlie is starting to make good decisions, or not terrible ones at least. Well, Charlie and Kevin have been involved in a lot of pots together. Today is not the first time they've tangled. What it's all about the mind games. Huh? You wouldn't know, you're just a comedian. They also shared a table in the Monte Carlo Super High Roller. I feel it. Charlie King dressed like the last hippie. Got a robe, pajamas, a t shirt, hoodie. <laughs> yeah, Charlie is definitely the last hippie in the world. Like, he's the only one left. <laughs> I, I guess if Kevin Hart calls me a hippie, I mean, that, that's that got to go on my resume if I had one. But um, I'll, I'll take that as a huge compliment. All the other hippies have made a change. Charlie's the last hippie of this generation. He put a top on that almond butter and started to stink. He was eating almond butter, and while eating it, he actually said, this is disgusting. Look at that. Look at it drip down. But I'm, I'm only eating it because I feel like it's put me at peace. This is natural, it's almonds, man. He does, he's trying to save face. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna finish this by the end of the day. I'm not gonna be smiling. I thought that maybe comedians might have to just turn off the funny every now and again, but he just manages to have the on switch constantly on. Oh my God! He could have done so much other stuff with that money. <laughs> he's, he just does it so well. 
I think if they make a ride along for it, it should be Kevin and Charlie. I will have a small part as an equal third partner. If you're lucky, they'll let you buy the coffee. <laughs> I would take it. Faraz has straddled. Decision on Mila. She folds. Daniel with ace eight. Calls. Pocket eights for Liv. Come on, Liv. She raises to 500. Kevin with pocket fours. Calls the raise. Charlie with king nine in the big blind. Calls as well. Of. And for us, faults. Whoa. 500? Yes. Denix. I'm in. The limp caller. Yep. That's my style. Yeah. You can't be called the kid anymore. We've the limp trying to find a new one. Is this good position or bad position, position for me? Fantastic. You what get to go right? first. What you you get to go first. <laughs> you, guys you can pounce on it before anybody else. You guys aren't being honest with me. This is tough. Ugh. <laughs> These are the positions where I just get confused. Check. Charlie has the best hand. I'm just gonna limp check again, I guess. Kevin might want to ask those questions before he puts money in the pot, but whatever. Liv's eights are no good. She cannot catch a break. Uh-oh. Ah, she bets 1,000. Kevin calls. Charlie calls, and Daniel folds. Mm -mm. Check, check, bet, call, call. This is scary. What does it say about this in the book? Somebody help me. The book. Somebody help me. Three way to the turn, which is a three. Ah, uh, what do I do? My head hurts. Oh, just check it. I'm exhausted with emotion. I think someone needs to pull Kevin's string again. Exhausted with so much emotion. No. Oh, no, uh, uh, Now that um, just threw sorry. me off. Now that just threw yeah, me off. Yeah, I have no idea what's happening anymore. Now I'm we confused. had a thing, we were going in rhythm. Charlie is a massive favorite here, and I do not think he will fold to a river bet. And with all three players checking the turn, we go to the river, which sees Charlie improve to a better two pair. He's definitely not folding now. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Everybody all right, slow all right, down. All right. Everybody slow down. That's a good card. That's not a bad card. That is a terrible card for you. Why is Kevin betting? Well, he could play a seven this way. If you if you start looking at me and doing a bunch of stuff, I'm gonna get upset. Because <laughs> you know I there's nothing. Want to see it. Yeah, but there's nothing that you can get from over here, hmm. so it's pointless. That's what you do whenever somebody tries to stare you down. Just look, <laughs> just look back at them, just do like the most annoying noises. Ma! <laughs> just, ma! <laughs> this is so fun. Are you so confident? Charlie's really thinking about this one. Well, don't forget, there is action behind. That's the call. Liv's got a fold now, and she knows it. She's just having the most frustrating day. There we go. I'm beat. I don't, don't do it to me, man. I'm not going to slow where I got a pair. I thought you may have been on the draw. Get him. Not him, not him. <sighs> she folded. Huh? She folded. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? I was just trying to get you in, man. So annoying. And Charlie has climbed out of his hole, which by the looks of him, he's been in since the late 60s. He's now showing a profit of more than 8,000 euros. Or you could mix it up with some of the best poker players in some of the most exotic locations in the world. Qualify now for one of our live events at PokerStars.com.
There's been a huge turn of events for Charlie Carroll here at the PokerStars Championship Cash Challenge. He was down 25 grand. Charlie's on tilt. <laughs> but after winning big against Faraz Jucca and finally getting the better of Kevin Hart, Charlie is now up. Obviously, I brought him for 25 at first. I think I ended up rebuying, 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 rebuying until I was in for 50. Okay, adding on 10. I didn't keep count during. Someone asked me how much I was up, and I just went. <laughs> oh, nice, undeserved. Thanks, guys. Thank God for players like Charlie, or I'd have to focus on strategy. Ugh. Maybe players like Charlie would appreciate that rather than having to tolerate your terrible jokes. Ouch. I met Joe Stanton last year in October in Malta, and he told me that you are his best friend. Uh, we're, good, we're good buddies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he told me that uh, you are the reason why he's at Poker Stars. That's true. You know, Joe Stapleton's the only person that I still get starstruck from in poker. Really? Like, I don't know what it is. I, I just like watched all of the, the commentary he ever did. I only ever watched it when he did it. Aw, yeah. he's gonna like that. Look yeah, that. <laughs> I do like it. 350. Sorry, have I been transplanted into an alternative universe? Can we go back and redo some of the stuff I said about Charlie? No. Meanwhile, Charlie has raised with fives. Faraz has called with ace jack. Yeah, where does it go? <laughs> In the muck. Action now on Kevin. Guys, I'm being very loose because I'm trying to create something. I, I literally have to give right anything. Now. I'm just, I'm giving you guys very loose calls. You gave one person 15K, you're giving us just like 300 at a time. Yeah, we, just, we appreciate it, man. Yeah. Great stuff from my new favorite player, Charlie Carroll. This is all just so wrong. <laughs> Charlie still has the best hand. Now hold on now, hold, now everybody slow down. That's not far from my alley. Ugh. If this was a street, we're around the corner from where I live. <laughs> Is this your interest? It's yours. Oh, Liv's drunk. Liv is 100% drunk. Yeah. <laughs> I just told you guys we're not far from where I used to live. So I'm going to call. Kevin's not far from home, but Charlie's got two of his spare keys. Still three players as we go to the turn. Which sees Charlie improve to a straight. And he is going to let himself right in. Action check to Faraz. Who bets 1,200 euros. Trying to steal this one. Gets a fold from Kevin. But not from Mr. Carroll. And I think Faraz immediately knows he's beat. Ten of clubs on the river changes nothing. Charlie checks, knowing Faraz is more likely to bluff than he is to call with something weak. He checks behind. I got it. No, oh, there's the five. There it is. There's the five. Two of them. Another pot for the president of the Joe Stapleton Appreciation Society. <laughs> well, Charlie is now up nearly 14,000 euros. Meanwhile, Liv has just added 5,000 to her stack. She's now in the game for 30 grand. Poor Liv has been suffering through death by a thousand paper cuts. No big injuries, just getting nickel and dime to death. And 111. Kevin first to act. That's a straddle. Usually flies as long as you haven't looked at your cards. 350. Faraz raising with jack eight of clubs. Mila folds. As does Daniel. Lives out as well. Uh, what do you say? 350. I'm, just, I'm not going to let the game die down, guys. So I'll just, I'll be of action. I'll be of action. I would expect nothing less from Captain Underpants. Heads up to the flop. 
Queen 9-7 for us with a straight draw. Kevin ahead with ace high. I'm not going to let the game die down, guys. He bet 350, right? Six. The bet of 600. Faraz is stuck pretty big. He could really use a win here. He calls. Lots of good turns for him. Well, that's one of them. Faraz now open-ended. Kevin bets again, 1,100. 1,100. <laughs> Call. Race. I'm doing a Charlie Mac. <laughs> Call. Race. Bet. Wait. Faraz is 30% to win the hand, and he's getting about 3 to 1, so it's about right for a call. We're going to the river with over 4K in the middle. It's a deuce. So Kevin's ace high is still good. Now, I was going to say if Kevin checks here, Faraz could maybe bluff his busted draws, but Kevin isn't going to give him the chance. He thinks he's about to bluff, but no. Too much. I <laughs> good? Ah. <laughs> what happened? He got a bluff through. Yeah. He did your bluff. Ace high is a bluff. Yeah, th these days you just never know. <gasps> Don't bog him down with the details, Daniel. Look how happy he is. The important thing is that he thought he was bluffing. Yes. And we've seen plenty of that today. Hopefully Faraz has been enjoying the Kevin Hart show. He's in every single pot, talking a lot in the middle of hands. This is just like a $25,000 buy-in concert right, right in your face. <laughs> Raise it up, raise it up. What's better, selling out an arena? There, you're getting applause, you're getting applause. <laughs> or showing a bluff? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, bluffing is amazing. I tell you what, I walk in that room and I have a lot of fans, but I leave and they're not. These guys aren't buying any more tickets to my movies. I'm bluff Daniel! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I almost never have it. When I saw Kevin Hart bluff me, I was like in my head doing like a golf clap, going, really? It was so easy. It was so easy. <laughs> Bravo. I did not see that coming. <laughs> I didn't know you had that kind of capability. Can't get a read on the guy that does the same thing all the time. Uh, yeah, it was one ridiculous hand. Felt like he just had absolutely nothing. You've not done this before. This is a different situation. He thinks for ages, talks some for some of this this stuff. Liar, liar, liar. Then I folded and he showed me the old five five in my face. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got her. Oh god. I'm bluffed her. Pretty, pretty great. <laughs> Alright, we are no friends anymore. Oh There's bluffing happening. Lots. Of all the celebrities I've seen play poker, Kevin is easily not the worst. Well, Daniel has straddled here, and Kevin has raised with ace four. But Charlie has ace king. Three bet incoming. He re-raises to 1,440 euros. We have not seen a lot of pre-flop three bets. Fold it around to Daniel. He's out. Kevin is in. And it's Domination Nation. The flop gives Kevin top pair. I check. But it's top two for Charlie. Even though it's a dicey board, he has got to like his hand. 3,000 in the middle. He bets 2,000 euros. Kevin calls. Drawing nearly dead. Well, now he's drawing to a chop. Check. Charlie checks behind. 
Well, this is all Charlie. Expect him to bring it on down to Valueville? 3,200. Now, Kevin would be beating all of Charlie's bluffs. I'm just not sure after re-raising before the flop how many bluffs Charlie's gonna have here. I'm gonna look here, I call. Too bad. Man, things sure are quiet when Kevin's losing. I was right. I don't like it, but I do like seeing this little Luke Skywalker back on the side of light. These two continue to go at it. Charlie almost seems to be targeting Kevin. Possibly because he never, ever folds. It was impossible to bluff me because I don't believe anything. I call. Oh, you got it? Get in. Not gonna bluff me ever. Nobody's gonna have that over me. Nobody. So Kevin, I think, is probably one of the best things that could happen to the cash game. Playing against someone that has infinite money in comparison to the game is always going to look people up light. When I say I call, it's gonna be something to see. I call. Nobody has that. Nobody, nobody has anything dramatic like that. Hey, mother Kevin Hart is the biggest box office draw at the PokerStars Championship Cash Challenge, but it's British pro Charlie Carroll who's grossing the most money. He's currently on a huge upswing and isn't phased by the presence of a Hollywood A-lister at the table. In fact, there's only one celebrity who makes Charlie weak at the knees. He didn't qualify, but here we are. It is true that I get starstruck by Joe Stapleton. Really? I don't know what it is. There was just something about seeing Joe Stapleton when I'd, I'd seen him on TV so many times and just like always watched all of his commentaries that when I saw him, my stomach genuinely dropped. Aw, yeah. he's gonna like that. Whenever I speak to him, I kind of just get a look <laughs> giddy about it. Woo! Suck it! I'm so sorry, I checked out for a second. What's happening? Um, nothing you need to worry about. Uh, hand 118 of the cash challenge is now underway. The Raz has raised to 350 euros with King Queen. Action has been folded around to Kevin, who's got aces. 13, 35. Oh, is he folding it? Yes. Ooh. Told you, you made me think about it. He is re raised. This three bet brought to you by Pocket Aces. Faraz calls, heads up to the flop. Tired of losing poker hands? Try pocket aces. Top set for Kevin. Faraz has a gut shot straight draw. Best aces ad ever. Kevin bets 50. Ah ha ha, he did it, he bet the 50. I hate that move. The Negranu patented min bet. Faraz would have called more, I think. Yeah, it's a nightmare, isn't it? Oh, stop it. It's practically a check. Six on the turn. Kevin now a huge favorite. I was trying to do it and see if it worked. I'm going to check that. <laughs> Faraz checks behind. Like how Kevin's playing this. No straight for Faraz. I don't think Kevin can get paid on this river, but still, I like his style. He's bet 1,000 euros. <laughs> Wait, too early. Kings or Queens? Neither. Um, I don't think either one of those, actually. Damn. Jack? Oh, no. Nah, I had a Jack. Yeah, you gotta go to the blockers. Come on, tell them. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. But what I did was was get uh, extra fifty. An extra fifty, and I got fifteen hundred total. 
Oh, yeah, 3,000 that I gave you, so now I only lost 1,500 in there. Hey, look, it's the last temptation of Igor Kurganov. Hello, Igor. Peace be with you. How do you guys feel about Igor and I playing as a tag team, where I play one hand, he plays another? You're for it? Charlie, you for it? I'll allow it. Can, can I allow it? Yeah? No. Bye, Igor. Man, find someone who looks at you the way Liv looks at Igor. Jeez. Mila is under the gun here and has elected not to straddle. I, uh... She's got ace-queen. I raised the pot. She's raising the pot. Yeah, 135, right? 235, right? Yeah. yeah. She's been pretty tight as of late. Yeah. Oh, it's Liv's turn to pick up aces. Little oh, boy. How much? <laughs> This could get real ugly. What happens to your words? <laughs> I don't know. So much emotion. So much emotion. Folded back around to Mila. No chance she folds here. Normally I want to re-raise, but I don't want to come into problems, so I just call. Call. You know, I'm just a hobby player. You know that, right? Oh, here we go. Here we go. So what did you have? Ace? Uh-oh. We'll find out. At least Mila just called. The flop is 7-7-4. Seven, seven, Hopefully Mila can get away from this. Are we working how much? I don't want to lose so much money. <laughs> <laughs> um, There's only 30 hands left in the session. 600. That's okay. Mila. Leading into the aggressor. It is a little weird, but maybe she'll know she's beat when Liv doesn't fold. You just call? You didn't make a re race or something like that? Just a call should be scary enough. Mila's now drawing dead. You guys have made today a good day. It's been fun. It is. Let's see if she slows down. How many hands we got left in here? Check. About. Yep. <laughs> Liv, you didn't explain to X, 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 whatever that. Saw that? No? Want to see one hand? Yeah. How much do we pay? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I like this. Mm. How much do you want? Give me 30 bucks. Give me 30 bucks, okay. Here. Let's have some fun. It's all good. 30 bucks. 30 bucks? 30 bucks? Yes. Okay. I take, I pay the 30 bucks. To yeah. see one. 30 bucks paid. Which one do you want to see? Ooh, I have 30 bucks. I see that one. That one. <laughs> yeah. Flip it? Yeah. All right, yep, go ahead. Flip one. it. One card. Ooh. Shows the queen. Wait, well, what is happening? She paid her 30 bucks to see one card. 30. <laughs> yeah. She could have got more, probably. Check, check. All right. That was a bad card to show. Inconsequential river. So how much did I get to get one card from you? How much do you want to add? I guess it's... Uh... You want your 30 bucks back? She'll show a card? Should <laughs> <laughs> we do that? Here Maybe go. she'll go. She'll pay 30 to see one of yours. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. She's All right. paying 30 bucks. Which, which one do you want to see? Kevin, which card? Pick a card. Don't pick that one. Don't okay, pick that, that one. one. That one. That one? All right. Told you. Oh, waste. Now it's okay, your... now it's easy for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, bet. <laughs> 2,000. No! 2,000! This is the best hand ever. Oh, yeah? You're awesome. Can you put 2,000 in? Boom. This is so fun. I love wow. this. Wow. This is mine. Oh, yeah, this, is, this is your specialty. First of all, <laughs> this is where I, this is mine. This yes, is that's what I said. It's your specialty. This is what I do. Wow. 30 paid, 30 paid. And I'm just a hobby player. <laughs> I can beat your ass up. In my video, I said, I will beat the stars, no problem. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Two thousand. All right, I'm all in. <gasps> I have no idea how Mila Aww. bet that, and I have no idea how Liv raised. It is all in to call for our challenger. Good girl. Well, she can't possibly call. You don't have aces. You don't have 
But she does have aces. That's lamb, maybe not so. Sorry, cannot call. I cannot call. Yes! I cannot call, so I fought. Phew. Show me the second card. Oh, man. <laughs> You photo, right? It's gotta be aces, right? I'll show you the second one. Well done. Sure. Good fold. Aces! Yeah. Yeah. aces. Good fold. Good fold, good fold. <laughs> she said she didn't have aces, but she did. Well, you're waiting for one of these guys. Once huh? again. <laughs> yep. Oh! What is this? Mila's a bit of a punk. No longer friends. Well, that was a pretty sizable pot, and Liv's clawed back a decent chunk. Uh, and it's not over yet, Mila. Don't worry, Mila. Are you happy? I am happy. My dream is true. She still has nearly 5,000 euros. And remember, she gets to keep anything she still has at the end of the session. So in a bizarre twist of events, Charlie is now the biggest winner at the table. Daniel's still up. Kevin's showing a healthy profit. Meanwhile, Faraz is stuck at 25 grand. Next time on the Cash Challenge. I love that piece of hit. Camera, get a close up on this. I'll stop she's, it. She's live is turned into a mess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eagle. Eagle's coming on. He's coming in fresh and sober. Come on, man. This is not fair. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Anybody that wears those khakis is a virgin. True story. Ah! How good would it be if Igor waited all his time to play and sat down and then got stacked? Oh, oh that would be that would be Oh, my cool. God, I would love it. <laughs> <laughs>